Welcome back to a Seal by Sketchbook. Welcome to 2019. For 2019, we're celebrating. We're having 19 tips for you on how to make your home look designed, as in that you hired an interior designer and got her or him to design your house. So, in this video, this is what we're going to be doing. I'm so excited for it. I've, I've prepared it last week. Didn't release a video because honestly, tricks and tips that you can do if you want your house to look like it has been designed. Let's go to the 19 tips because it's 2019. Tip number one is to take care of the three elements that make or break a room. They are the foundation of each room and that is lighting, rugs and curtains. I'll put this at three tips because each one of them they have like a special category of their own. For the curtain I advise you to go as high as possible to the ceiling just because it will draw your eye up and the higher the ceiling is the better. Tip number two is for the rug size. The rug should actually group all of your furniture together so if you can't do that, if you can't find a rug that is this big, at least the front legs of your furniture should be on the rug because the rug has two functions. First of all it gathers up the area together like it groups it and makes it one unit but also the second thing that the rug does is that you step on it and you feel cozy. So this is why you need a rug that at least covers the front legs of your chair, your sofa, onto it just because it will be cozier for you to step on it. The third element is for the lighting. Layer your lighting. How do you layer your lighting? Well, we have general lighting, the lighting that you will light up when you are cleaning the room. So there's the general lighting, there's this task lighting. For example, if you have a chair that you want to read on near like a bookcase or not, you want to be able to open up the light, open up the book and read from it. So basically that that's a task light. And then you have finally my favorite light, mood lighting. You can see it behind me. It's just these little touches. That, for example, if there you have a painting and you want to shed some light on it, that's accent lighting. So if you take care of these three elements, you've got yourself a pretty good base to start with. Tip number four is to choose your furniture in a very mindful manner, as in in scale and color. First of all, I have to tell you this, out of my own experience, I had an orange sofa back in my old house and I do miss the sofa because we, up until now we didn't buy a sofa in this house yet, we've been so busy. Just out of my own experience, if you get colored furniture then you are more likely to actually get bored of it, so minimize the color for the furniture scale. What you want to do is actually choose bigger scale, but do but do check the layout. So don't buy like huge pieces of furniture when you have small space. Like you have to have keep it proportionate. But doesn't mean that if you have a smaller space, then you go ahead and like ah uh, okay, I'm just going to buy smaller furniture because it will end up getting very cluttered. So you want to minimize the amount of pieces, but you want statement pieces. You know what I mean? Tip number five: Think about the functions. Of course, you need to think about functions. The way you live is different from the way I live. You gotta design the room for you, not for anyone else, not to impress people. For example, I have an office in my living room, although I don't have a sofa yet, so it's an office more than a living room. But because I work in my home and I have two rooms in this house and I don't have a place for an office, so I did it right here. If you don't watch TV, then you don't need a TV, you just wing it, you know? Tip number six is to choose your colors wisely. You are basically stuck with, a, with that color scheme for at least a couple years, let's face it. Tip number seven, always have plants around. Cannot emphasize it more than that. Plants will give life to your room and plants are very necessary. They're also like living creatures and they keep you companionship. Okay, <laughs> that's cheesy. Tip number eight, do not be afraid to experiment with different materials, different textures. Sometimes when you mix two textures together, we mix linen and fibers, we end up you know, having this certain vibe. Find common ground where two elements really go together from this style and this style and you've got yourself a beautiful living room or bedroom or whatever you try to furnish. Tip number nine, add a metallic touch. Trust me on this one. Metallic touches, they are like, you don't need a lot of them. You just need a little bit. And they, that does a little magical touch to the place. Anything that reflects light, it's something that adds a little bit of glam. You wanna think about metals as if you think about your accessories while wearing an outfit. So there are things that 
a little shine, you know? Tip number 10, uh, your artworks. Consider having those artworks, pulling together your color scheme of the room. And uh, there is a very easy trick to have that. Let's say the colors of the room are like these colors, okay? Or whatever colors that you have. But these cards I got from Homesmith, from Juton, any shop for paint, you can find these cards and you can totally steal them. Well, I used them in my design, so I didn't really steal them. You can frame your color scheme in one of the frames. First of all, it will look very artistic and nice, but it's also acting as the element that pulls together all of the colors so the whole room looks cohesive and cozy. And you want that. Step number 11, hide your wires. Nobody wants to see your wires unless you have an industrial style living room. There's a lot of products, especially in Ikea, they have like, they sell them for very, for very cheap, where it's like the box where you hide your extension cords or this tube that you can cover the wires in. Step number 12 is to declutter and organize, keep organized, because if you don't, then what is the point, right? Like even if you have the most beautiful room and it's all cluttered, I can relate to this so much. Tip number 13 is to think about details, 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 to look at the details of whatever you're buying and to make sure that everything looks, even if it's like on a budget, but everything looks very well made. Tip number 14 is to invest in paint. Paint is such an important element. Even if you're painting your room a shade of white, it will make a difference. You have to trust my words on this one. It gives the room character. Paint is important. And so is wallpaper. Step number 15, do not afraid to get a little quirky on your design. Um, sometimes like different pieces are completely out of the style that you have is a nice thing. Step number 16, don't buy matchy, matchy sofas. That is like so frowned upon when you're an interior designer. Do you get the look of an interior designed room when you invest in mismatched pieces so your sofa doesn't have to match your armchair? Step number 16 is to add mirrors and reflective surfaces if you have a small space. If you have a small space, it's very essential for you to give the illusion of a bigger space. Tip number 17, to think about your accessories. Accessories are such an important part. Turn around to styling the your interior space video, so I will link it here. Tip number 19 is to always purge items and add items that you love. Surround yourself with, you know, beautiful items and beautiful objects and lights. And these were my 19 tips for 2019. And the most important thing to remember, if you can afford to hire an interior designer, then do. Especially small businesses, they need your support. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great time of the day wherever you are in the world. Have a great 2019. Just a little announcement guys, I'm going to be uploading on Thursdays instead of Saturdays just because it's a lot more feasible for me because Friday is our weekend here. So this is why I wanted to not have to stress out over the video on Saturday. Well, I have Thursday and then you can watch it in the weekend. So thank you so much. Love you guys. To the moon and back. Bye.